Hello guys, welcome back, it's your Lord Lord Lord. So today we're going to be covering the Envoy's Great Horn, so we are. And I can thank Streaks for getting it, because no harm, I wasn't farming it, because this thing is a nightmare to farm. So guys, if you enjoy, please like, share, and subscribe, and guys, let's get back to the weapon. It, its weapon art is Great Auricular Bubble, which is just this here. Um, and it can hit for some decent damage, so it can. That is one thing that I have noticed about it whenever I was doing my warm up fights. Um, it can do a shit ton of damage if it lands. That's a big if it lands. So it is. On that, there, it is a split damage weapon, good physical and holy, which is absolutely fantastic because it fits me down to a T. I love my holy damage. Its scalings are C in strength, C in dex, and D in faith. It actually quite well represents what my current build is like. So it is so not bad. Um, it requires 20 in strength, 12 dex, and 24 faith. So again, kind of just sort of fits it. So its damage is 755 100 and 200 is 804. So not too bad there either. Its damage is actually quite nice. After that there we've got the it's going I am going to be shifting the weapon art over to the beast roar just in case somebody decides to be particularly annoying or needs a good rib tickling. So it's gonna be the beast roar misio cord. After that there we've got the perfumer shield so we do. It's basically just to help fit our golden fashion for our golden boy as well as carrying our golden parry weapon art. So the fashion for our golden boy is the twin helmet, clean lot armor, Lindell Knight Gauntlets. I'll explain that in a second, and the Malform Dragon Greaves. Our talisman does the Great Jar's Arsenal, because this weapon is so damn heavy, but it is also to the point of heavy that I actually have to drop down my gauntlets to a, to a lighter version, we'll say, because normally the gauntlets are the three sentinel gauntlets. After that there, we get the Bulgo's Talisman. This is just to basically help with poise, and hopefully a little bit of training as well. It helps with the hyper armor and stuff like that there. And then we've got the Earth Tree Favor plus two, and the Crimson Armor Medallion plus two. Those two are more or less self-explanatory. Other than that there, it's a basic, it's a very standardized weapon, uh, it's just an colossal weapon, guys, there's not really much else special about it. So let's get into it and see how much pain I'm in for. Alright, who is our first opponent? It's a Dismounter, Full Banished Knight, with a dagger in the off hand. Interesting sauce. Oh, well, that didn't help me at all. Okay. Okay, so there must be some um, true combo shenanigans going on then. How do people do that? That that bugs the fuck out of me, so it does. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, Curved Greatswords got buffed. So they did. Curved Greatswords got buffed. Alright, what are we have against now? And uh, dual curved great swords. Okay, that's interesting. No manners apparently. Okay. Okay, this is just going. This is just going to turn that back and forth. Why are you just running attacking? What just happens? Please tell me I'm not the only one that's saying that this thing does not hit for some reason. Oh wow. Excuse me, I called bullshit on that range. Right, there seems to be a weird delay with the hit on this weapon, which is annoying. Somebody's very overconfident, so they are. Oh wow. Oh, why me? Oh really, Godskin? Really? <laughs> okay, this weapon has a weird hitbox, so it does. Same guy again? Hi Al. Awesome sauce. Dude, just because I have some fucking manners left. <laughs> you want to swap, I'll swap. Hello, sir, with Giants Halberd Gritchin. Okay. 
This should be interesting. At least he has some manners, because your last guy didn't have manners. He's got a great shield and a halberd, or colossal weapon they got. Oh, that's not good. Oh, God, how did that not hit? Master of the backstep, boys. That's <laughs> twice. <laughs> GG, sir. <laughs> Master of the backstep. No, I'm really not, but it's still fun to say. Alright, it's a pigeon with the Craig blade. Okay. And a shield. Interesting. 862 damage, that's a good bit of damage, holy fuck. I that miss! That last parry should have fucking hit. He does it, he always follows up. Alright, come on. Let's see if we can bait this part, uh, bait it out. Come on. Oh, he didn't follow up. Ah, he followed up that time though! Fuck! It's another pigeon. Hello, with the Executioner's Great Axe. Interesting. And the Beastman's Saber. Oh, wow. He just managed to run right fucking through it, so he did. How the hell did he manage to just run straight through it, like? Oh, come on, game. I'm not sure how that, how or why that happened. Oh, wow. Well done. Oh, well, that fucked up. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, the weapon art is junk. Damn it. Right. What am I against? Hello. Looks like a fast roller with a whip and a dagger. It is a fast roller too. Indeed. You ever just get really pissed off at shit? Like, you ever just get really fucking hacked off? Ah, uh, this is one of those hacked off points. Okay then. Oh wow, that was not, I actually just did not mean to do that. Are you actually going to try and party me, sir? Oh, quick step. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, no harm. I'm not switching back to my main hand weapon because. That's just not fun to deal with. <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you? What have you got? Do rapiers. Oh, that's fun. Right, Mr. Dude Rapiers. Backstop King! I wonder if I got a read on that. Ooh, 
Oh, now that was spicy work there now. Is that all you're going to do? Oh, no way did that miss. Somehow I managed to get away with that. How did that, how did I miss? <laughs> the backstep king. Uh, hello, sir, how are you? You're the, ah, yes, you're this chap. He always follows up. Oh, Halberd now. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just too much fun to do. <laughs> he didn't learn. <laughs> oh, I am sorry, dude. That uh, that was just fucking hilarious. Claymore! Fucking... Can I have some poise, please? Or some hyper armor, at least. Oh! <laughs> Dude! Oh, come on now! You have to fight... You had to admit that was a little bit silly on your behalf. I might have stamina. Oh, that was fucking hilarious. Right. No. Oh, hello. How are you? What have you got? Oh, the Redu... Reduvia? Uh, probably one of the more savage weapons, too. Ah, I see. He's using, a, he's using a shit ton of poise to counteract the... The lack, so to speak. Oof! No, nope, not face tanking a fucking Reduvia, not ch not a chance. Oh, I fucked up. Oh! You're a very beefy boy. Oh, I fucked up. Ah, I fucked up. GG, sir. Ah, I'll admit I fucked up. <laughs> oh. Hello, sir. How are you? Please tell me you're not using the Bloodhound's Fang. Bloodhound's Fang with a great shield. Oh, this is, sir. Sir, please. How did I fuck that up? I think I think I've just scared him with that parry. Oh come on, game! You want something to bloodhounds? Bloodhound this. I wonder if I get it. I wonder if I just free him it down. No, he, he didn't take the bait. Is that all you're going to do, sir? You're wielding one of the strongest, if not the strongest, curved greatsword.
<laughs> GG, sir! Right. A white mask with Eleanor's twin blade. Okay. Come on. Oh. I can't actually remember with the earlier. It, it, it did get nerfed. What is with arcane bills not having health? GG <laughs> That's so mean. Okay, guys. I have noticed several things with this weapon. All right. First things up is the weapon art. Yes, I may have only caught on to it halfway through the video, but still though, still though, I cannot diss the weapon art. People are foolish to run into it, but it's the fact that you can just aim it at the ground and then it go boom is hilarious, so it is. As for the weapon itself, it has the jankiest hitbox I have ever seen. So it does. The jankiest. So guys, I hope you have all enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. And guys, I shall see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.